Today I am going to personalize these scrapbooks and turn them into Disney Cruise autograph books. So we are going on a Disney Cruise next month and super excited. It's our first time doing a Disney Cruise. We haven't actually been to Disneyland since the kids were really little. So we never did the whole autograph book thing last time. And so I wanted to make my own. What I've actually got are uh, these scrapbook albums from Kmart here in Australia, but any similar scrapbook style notepad will work as well. So the reason I got these particular ones is because they have blank pages. So that way there's no lines to interfere with the autographs, but you've also got the ability to stick photos in there as well. So when you get home, you can stick the photos in next to the character's autograph and makes for a really cute and fun keepsake and a really cheap one too. So I picked these up from Kmart for I think around four dollars each. They do have a few different variations. So there's a black one, a white one, and then you've got the white pages or the craft pages. So I decided to go with the craft pages for something different. So we'll be getting a black Sharpie to go with each of them as well. And I just love how it's got this cute little ribbon tie. Just makes it a little bit more fancy. And I'm going to use my Cricut Joy to add some personalization and make it a little bit cuter and gift that to the kids before we cruise. So let's go and make them pretty. All right, so here I am inside the Cricut Design Space and I'm going to plan out my autograph books. So I'm going to be using this SVG file, which was a free one that I found on a website. I do not remember what the website was called, but there are also some really cool ones on Etsy or you can make your own. Of course, you've got to be careful with anything Disney related. So because I'm using the Cricut Joy, I need to shrink down this shape so that it will fit. And I'm going to change that one to silver. I'm using like a sparkly silver line off that one. And my text. So this font is a free Disney font that I have downloaded from a font website. There we go. So autographs, and I want that one to be in a pink. My daughter's name. All right. So essentially, it's going to look like that. The pink I'm using is a lot brighter than that one. And the silver is like a nice, pretty sparkly one. It's going to pop on that craft background. So that is pretty much what I want to create. And then I want to duplicate all of that. All right. Now let's make it. So smart materials, so I don't need a map. Uh, there's our Mickey's and then so I'm actually just going to move this one around so that it's up here so I'm not wasting so much vinyl. Actually, I'm just going to do this one first. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, let's cut out our vinyl. So choosing all right, so starting with silver. So these are the two colors that I am using. They are so pretty. So we've got this bright pink, which is called party pink, and silver. So when you are using vinyl, you need to use transfer tape. So in the case of standard vinyl, and this transfer tape is what is going to transfer your design onto your project. Just trimming those extra pieces there. 
you can use your transfer tape more than once if it has enough stick left to it. And the other thing to keep in mind is if you are using a glitter style file, so like this one is a glitter, then you might need to use the strong grip transfer tape because it does need that extra sticky power to lift it off of your paper. So I've got the Cricut strong grip transfer tape here. You just need to be careful when using the strong grip that you don't tear your cover of your autograph book because it does have that extra stickiness to it. Relatively center. Being careful not to tear with the strong grip. Ooh. I just teared a little bit. It's the one downfall with using the glitter, it's not ideal for some surfaces when it comes to trying to get it applied. God, it looks so pretty. Okay, so here they are. They are adorable. The only issue, of course, was with that, the glitter vinyl and the fact that I needed the strong grip transfer tape. So it did pull a little bit away from some of the cover, but it's not overly obvious. And my kids won't even notice. <laughs> but they look beautiful. And what I might actually do is personalize this this front page here to say you know Disney Wonder 2023 and then that way if there are pages left which I'm sure there will be because as I said my kids are shy <laughs> they probably won't get a lot of autographs then I can go through next trip so we're looking at possibly doing Disneyland in Tokyo next year and I can then have a cover page for that and then all those autographs from what we get at the theme park when we're in Tokyo. So that way it becomes a an ongoing sort of collection of autographs that they'll continually add to. So I think that's a really fun idea. And that so I hope you have enjoyed watching that quick and easy tutorial, simple idea, making your own book. You can use any sort of notebook or journal. Sorry, like I said, these are scrapbooks that I got from Kmart in Australia for $4. And then using vinyl that I already had and my Cricut that you could use stickers, you could use washi tape. You could do anything really and make it so easily at home for a lot cheaper than what you will pay for the official autograph books. So I hope you have enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do like this video and comment below and let me know what you think. And I'll be back with more Disney crafts soon.